Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, I hate the media. I hate the media for so many reasons. They're corrupt, they're biased, they're lazy, they're not smart. It, it, the list goes on and on. I'm talking about local, I'm talking about national, regional, you name it. This past week, there was a story about the Ohio Supreme Court ruling as it related to some Durante cases. And you know what? Everybody in the media got it completely wrong. They're not interested in the facts and the details. I gave them to Cherie Pello. Bless you, Cherie, because she reported them. But you know what? The Enquirer, Kevin Grace, and the rest of them, they just don't care about what it really is, what it really means. It affected two cases. Decided two cases. I got here a seven-page memorandum which I drafted, which I might send to the media, educate them a little bit. But you know what? In this video world, I know you got a short attention span, and I want to focus on one thing. And what I'm about ready to tell you, like there wasn't any doubt, because I have in this memorandum, let me see here, 43 different points of how Maureen O'Connor and the Ohio court system have been corrupt relative to the Durrani cases. But I want to focus on something that proves beyond any shadow of a doubt how corrupt Maureen O'Connor, Chief Justice of the Ohio Supreme Court is, Judy French, who on her last day wrote the decision because she got voted out of office, Sharon Kennedy, who's still on the court, and Maureen O'Connor picked two justices, special justices, to sit and replace a Fisher and DeWine who recused themselves. Do you know what the Ohio Supreme Court completely ignored? It's unbelievable, but it's true. There is a statute in the state of Ohio, that if you leave the state, any statute of limitations, statute of repose, or anything like that is told, which means it's paused. If you leave the state, I mean, if you go from Ohio to Kentucky, everything's paused. The statute doesn't keep running. Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury and Bulldog Nation, in November of 2013, Dr. Durrani just didn't flee the state of Ohio. He fled the damn country under indictment back to Pakistan. The butcher of Pakistan went back to Pakistan. November 13th, I mean, excuse me, November of 2013. That statute tolls everything. It is clear law. Clear law. Clear as can be law. It's final law. Can't misinterpret law. Do you know that that issue was raised in the record, is in the record, was argued in oral argument? They don't even mention it. Nor do they use it. It is the most outrageous corrupt, I'm going to call it criminal decision ever by the Ohio Supreme Court. Maureen O'Connor is a criminal. Maureen O'Connor is a crook. Maureen O'Connor is bought and paid for. Maureen O'Connor is so cold, reptile blood runs through her veins. She is a reptile. She is a snake. Maureen O'Connor, Judy French, Sharon Kennedy, and those other two justices are criminals. It is impossible to ignore that law. But they did. Why? Why would they ignore a law that decides that case in our favor 100% of the time? Maureen O'Connor... I hate your damn guts for good reason. You're a phony, 
fake witch. You parade yourself around like you're worried about the COVID and people get, and you get an award for this and you get an award for that. It's all a joke. I got you, Maureen. I got the laundry list of what you've done. And the whole world, we're producing a documentary. We've begun. It's not going to be an hour, Maureen. It's going to be about a 20-part, one-hour series. And I'm producing it. There isn't going to be another side shown because there isn't another side. It's going to be our side. The whole world is going to look at you worse than Carol Baskin, Maureen O'Connor. You are unbelievable. You have lost all pretension of even trying to not be a crook. This woman received millions, I mean millions of dollars, from the health care, the hospitals, the PACs, the large defense law firms. And guess who the lawyer was? The law firm that argued the other side, Taft. Who did Maureen O'Connor serve as a lieutenant governor of the only governor that ever pled guilty to a crime? Bob Taft. Maureen was his lieutenant governor. He was so corrupt, he had to plead guilty to a crime. She was his lieutenant governor. She learned how to do it from old Bobby Taft. Maureen O'Connor, you know what's really amazing to me? Is not one damn person in the tri-state press, not one damn person in the regional press, can pick up the phone and call you and ask you, how can you guys ignore that law? Ignore it. Because you are a crook. You are a disgusting human being. I loathe you. I hate you. And I am going to ruin your reputation. You don't deserve any reputation. This is the bulldog. Every dog has their day. Maureen O'Connor can go straight to hell.